I'm Stephanie Garrett, and this is Creative Inspiration. Well, thanks for joining me. Today we're going to be making some flex wire earrings. I'm going to be using the soft flex fine flex wire. I'm making some beaded flex wire earrings. Now I'm using the silver, but it comes in different colors. And this is the metallic that I used for these. And also the ones I'm wearing. Came out really, really nice. Um, it's one of my favorite wires to work with. No, they're not paying me, but I really like this wire. So I use it for all my projects, my necklaces, bracelets, and now earrings. <laughs> and I'm gonna show you how in just a few minutes. Now, the big thing we're gonna need is our crimpers, our crimp tool to crimp our crimpers at the end so your earrings don't fall apart. And then you're gonna be using the middle part there to crimp your crimp bead. And I'll show you those in a few minutes. Maybe you're gonna need your little tweezer pliers. Now these are optional. I happen to like a pair of these handy just for all my projects because it's nice to get into the little tight spaces and little small beads and squeeze the crimpers after you crimp them. Works really good. These I got from Be The Hall I love these. these and then you're gonna be needing your wire cutters to cut your wire. Or scissors will work too, but I personally like a pair of wire cutters. Always keep these handy as well. Okay, now we're gonna go over the supplies you need. Okay, now we're gonna cut our wire, flex wire, soft flex wire, when beating all of my bracelets and necklaces and now earrings. So we're just gonna cut a small piece. Clip it with our nipper tool here and put it aside. We are going to take it into the wire and start to string our crimp beads onto the wire. I use two, some people use one, some people use a tube. I happen to have these handy and available, so I'm gonna use these. You can use whatever you like when beading, but this is what I'm using for the purpose of this project, okay? So I put that on the wire and now I'm gonna stick it through the ear wires. This ear wire here, I'm gonna use this one. Oh, I'm gonna stick it through there. Okay, like so. And you can any, use any type of ear wires you like, just as long as the end is closed so the, um, so the wire doesn't um, you know, come off. I'm gonna to have to close that at the end, I, I see. So I'm just gonna go ahead and string it on for now and then we're gonna crimp it and make sure it's closed. And then we're gonna close a little ring on the ear wire as well. Make sure everything is nice and secure. We like a little security around here. We don't like things falling apart, especially if it's, you know, if you're gonna sell it or give it as a, as a gift, you don't want it to fall apart. Heck, even if you're wearing it for yourself, you really wanna be losing your stuff out in public? I don't think so. <laughs> Ask me how I know that. <laughs> Happened to me once or twice over the years but that won't happen with these because we're gonna make these kind of fabulous here, okay? So now we have our crimp beads on our ear wire and we're gonna go ahead and use our crimping tool, which is this one. And you're gonna go ahead and crimp it. Make sure it's nice and secure. Oh, look at that. Yay. You can use the middle as well I happen to use them both, and so see, they're nice and flat. See, look at that. They were round, and now they're nice and flat. Can you see that? Let's turn them sideways. You can see that. Yes, like that. And then I would go over it with my little tweezer pliers here, just for added security. I like to make sure everything is nice and secure. Okay, so that's what we're going to do. And it is. Yay. And I even left a little bit of give on the end of that wire, because... If it's too tight, it can snap. And if it's too loose, well, what's the point, right? So there, it's nice and crimped. So now you can go ahead and start stringing your beads as you like them in whatever pattern that you laid out or set out. I just happened to find these little small beads and I thought, mm, let me see if I can make something really cute with these. The black and kind of silver iridescent. I think they're kind of funky. You can use seed beads, you can use, um, any kind of beads really, as long as they're small, 
I think you're gonna, if you use big beads, you're gonna have to use less of them because they are going to be heavy. And there are different ways to use flex wire and earrings. There are lots of videos on that on YouTube. But this is just a particular one that I wanna do because I thought it was nice. And it'll give you a nice, pretty pair of glamorous earrings. And like mine came out really, really well. Look at that, I showed you them earlier, right? See, I am so in love with these. <laughs> Oh, I just love them. So that's why we're gonna make something similar to this today. Just now we're not gonna be using the noodle beads, obviously. But yeah, that came out really cute, really, really cute. Okay, now go ahead and continue to string your beads as you like. And then we're gonna do the other end the same way that we just did that end. So now you have that. Now what you gotta do is you're going to tuck your wires inside of your beads to make sure that it's nice and secure. Now, some people only put it through the first bead or the second bead. I tend to go three or four beads in, you know, just because I like, like I said, security for my things, and that's three beads. You can see that. Heck, I might even do one more. There you go, because you're gonna have to leave some out to cut it, so that's enough. I think that's plenty. You know, you have this little extra piece that you're gonna pull taut and secure your earrings so they won't fall. So now you can just string as usual, leaving that little part out because you're gonna cut it off at the end. Okay, now we're gonna see how that works. See if it's nice and flexible. <laughs> I think it's gonna be pretty actually. So let's check it out. Okay, so now this is what our earring is gonna look like once we pull it through the top here. Now there are different ways to make the soft flex wire earrings or wire earrings. I'm just using this particular pattern and style because it's a little easy and it's a nice little easy project um, to try. Something fun to try, to do, get inspired. Try something new. So these are gonna be really cute. Make sure everything is pulled tight on that side. And look, it actually matches my bracelet. Isn't that pretty? They're gonna be cute. <laughs> Wear them together. So you can watch the other video on making the memory wire bracelet, and then you can watch this video on making the earrings go with it. There you go. I got you covered in all bases. <laughs> Don't say I ain't have you covered. Okay, now let's make sure everything is falling how we like. Sometimes it gets a little muddled here. Maybe laying the way we want it to lay. Now we're gonna take this end and put our crimp beads on here because we're gonna crimp the other side. And we're going to string it through here like so. And then we're gonna tuck this wire the same way we did the other side. Pull it through, see that? The same, you pull it through the same ear wire. Okay? Same side, same ear wire and you just tuck this one on this side. And um, that's it, really. Make sure it goes through the beads. Luckily, these are bigger beads. Some of the smaller beads are a little tough to get the wire through, especially the seed beads, those are really tough. But these are pretty easy, actually. So I'm glad I chose these for the purpose of this project. And you can go ahead and just string them, string, string them through, maybe three or four in, just to make sure it's nice and secure. Or even four in, four or five in, it just depends on what you want, I'll do it in, because you're gonna have to tuck the wire anyway. So, you know what, I'm gonna do this one. Let's just string that one on there. Okay, and then, how many is it, three? We can do one more. Let's do four, make sure they're nice and secure, okay? So that's good, so that's how you string that one up. Okay, here we go. Now you're gonna have to pull this side to pull it up and you're gonna have to make, adjust it to make sure it's not bunching up on you. Can you see that? Let me see here. Oops, don't worry if you have a little space, I mean, uh, this wire sticking out because you're gonna cut it at the end anyway once you secure this side. Yeah, once you secure this side, you're gonna cut this wire. This little piece hanging out right there. Okay, so you make sure it's pulled tightly. Oh, yeah, there you go. See, nice and tight. And then you can also leave a little give on that side just so they can hang nice. Because if it's too tight, it might be a little stiff. And then, 
Yeah, look at that. I like the way that hangs there. That's cute. Really cute. Make sure you straighten out everything here. Okay. No, nothing bunching up on you. No spaces. Nothing weird going on. Looks good. It's in the pattern you like. You know. So. There. Okay. And it doesn't have to even be in a pattern, really. Just You can just string them on however you like. I crimp this side to make sure it's secure. Okay. Crimp it. And be sure not to get too close to the bead because you can crack your bead. Okay. Uh, I've done that a few times in the past. And sometimes just little fat beads are hard to do. There we go. Oh, yeah, there we go. Nice and crimped, okay? And you can go in with your tweezer pliers. Make sure it's nice and secure, which it is. Nice and flat. See, it's nice and flat. You can even use a um, bead cover on these two, but I'm not gonna do that for the purpose of this project. So now you're finished. And now we're going to cut our wires here. Okay, all right, and now you're gonna cut the other side and just tuck that wire right in there. It's gonna hide itself in there. And now you're done. Look at that, how cute. Nice little flex wire earring. Oh wow, isn't that cute? We're gonna make the other one too and at the end I'll show you both of them. And um, yeah, it's really cute. I kinda like these, you know? These are, these are really nice. You can make them long, you can make them short. Make them with really small beads, big beads. Yeah, these are hot, real hot. I mean, I love a beaded earring. These are hot, right? Okay, we're gonna go finish the other side and then we'll have us two cute pair of earrings, yay. Okay, so I threaded the beads on the other side of the earring through the ear wire and through the crimp two crimp beads that I placed on here, and I threaded through the first four beads. You don't have to do that, but that's just something that I personally like to do. You can just do one or two, actually, and it'll probably be just as secure. But I like to make sure that everything is good, okay? Now you take this side, and you pull it tight. Can you see that? And you pull it together, and that's what they're gonna look like side by side. So they look great, I think. They're hanging the way that I want them to, they feel great, they look great, there's no weird spaces, anything like that. So now you already crimped this side with your crimp tools. Now you're gonna crimp this side and you're done with your fabulous earrings, okay? So let's go ahead and do that, make sure it's tight. A little, just a little give there. And you take your crimp tool that you have handy and then you just crimp the beads, there you go. You can do the middle and there you go. And then I always like to say go over with my trusty tweezer pliers just to make sure that everything's nice and secure. And see how flat that is? That's very flat, right? Can you see that? Nice and flat on both sides. And that's how it should look. Okay? You're done. And you have made yourself a fabulous pair of flex wire earrings. Now go ahead and nip this with your nipper tool. Nip the wire on one side, and it's gonna tuck itself into the bead. There you go. Okay, put that out of the way. And you're gonna get down in there and nip it on this side. And then you're done. Take that and throw that in the trash, and you're good to go. Look at that. Yay, you made yourself a pair of fabulous earrings. You can use any pattern, shape, color, seed beads. You can use bigger beads. You can use spacers. You can use a lot of things. The sky's the limit with this kind of thing. It's so pretty. Like right here is this three pairs right here. Three different pairs. Let's move that out of the way so you can see that. That's two, one, two, and that's three. Isn't that a cute? And then go with multitude of outfits. They pass a little black dress test and a white jeans and t-shirt test, all of these. Because you can rock these with pretty much anything. You know, jeans and a cute pair of sandals and a crisp white shirt, hot right? Rock these with a cute little black dress or black t-shirt and some jeans, hot. 
you know, we try to have things flexible for different outfits and things. So there you go. Your flex wire beaded and earrings. Yay. Okay, so we finished our flex wire earrings, our flex wire beaded earrings, and I'm wearing them. Aren't they pretty? Can you see? My hair is dark, so you can't see them too well, maybe. But they, turn, they turned out really nice. I like them. Oh, yeah, they just cute. And they even go with my outfit when I'm wearing today. I like that. Okay, really cute. So remember, you can make these, you know, in any pattern, shape, color that you like. I even thought about some some African beads. Oh, wouldn't that be fabulous, honey? Yes, all crystals. Ooh, yes, really. Yes, that'd be great. But I love them and they turned out great. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for joining me and I will catch you next time. Ciao.